slide of a burger right now a cheeseburger loosey juicy uh, how was your sourdough jack burger Nico I guess I'm uh, uh, let me know in a minute when class starts here I'm a little occupied and running a little late today Teacher, gone, I'm a streamer, American writer, gone so 
education. I spent him while streaming on a Hawaiian vacation. Unworn white Levi's were covering his femur until he covered them with coffee and creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher. 
12 minutes, it'll be like 3 minutes. Driveway cam. Be right with you about five minutes. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher. 
teacher from Iowa Street. He's Mr. G, Mr. G, he's Mr. G, Mr. G. He's your average teacher from Iowa Street. Mr. G, Mr. G. A lot of famous people from Minnesota. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher, gone IRL streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher, gone IRL streamer. Americana writer, got no education. I spent him while streaming on a Hawaiian vacation. Unworn white Levi's were covering his streamer. Until he covered them with the coffee and the creamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa Streamer. Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, Mr. G, he's your average teacher on Iowa Streamer. Mr. G, 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 Mr. G,
Mr. G, welcome to my class. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. There's only two days left in the year. Uh, today we're going to be learning about like one poppy. not her, not her. We're going to be learning about the great state of Minnesota. Now, I, for some reason, I couldn't get my Bring freaking that. color on the printer working, Set. and it ruined everything. But anyways, your we'll go ahead and fix that up. Uh, yes, there's new merch here if you want to get a uh, Mr. G Keanu hoodie and, the, and uh, multiple different colors like so. Um, you can uh, check out the merch store on uh, my, the Stream Elements link that was just posted by the like bot. Said. Nice. So, the welcome, Poppy. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this is just a great picture. This is a good black and white picture. However, I have no idea why my printer is printing black and white. And it does ruin, like, I wanted to print the flags and everything. But, um, and don't tell me because they're, it's out of color, because it's not out of color. Hey, Google, I mean, out of ink. Hey, Google, play some Mozart, please. Playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart hey, on go, Pandora. Said, Volume 2, please. Help Mr. G with a donation through Stream Elements. HTTPS colon slash slash S stream elements on slash MRG underscore live slash tip. Wag one popping. 
said. I'm doing well, thanks. <clears throat> okay. Sounds like the uh, neighbor waits until I go live for him to start his uh, weed whacker, so ignore that. Because God will take care of him soon enough. So right now I'm putting uh, my website. It's basically a, a resume at the bottom of the page there. Uh, if you're watching this live on on Twitch, just go ahead and keep watching. Uh, but if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, go ahead and pause and check out the uh, link gxnetwork.live, which is on the screen right there. Um, like I said, today we're going to be uh, learning about the wonderful state of Minnesota. Now, Minnesota may not be your favorite state. It's definitely not mine. Um, but it does have a lot to offer. And the main reason that we're studying the state of Minnesota is because we're doing every state. That's, that's why. Um, to, for personal experience, I have been to Minnesota briefly. I met Jim Ross in Minnesota. He was the famous wrestling announcer. And then I met a couple other WWF wrestlers back when they were called WWF. So yes, today we're going to be learning about the wonderful, oops, the wonderful, wonderful state of Minnesota. Or on the screen here. Minnesota. Act one poppy. Said. Wow, very cool. Yes, uh, Minnesota um, is not necessarily what you would think of as cool, maybe cold. Uh, the climate in Minnesota is very, very frigid. Minneapolis, for instance, is the coldest major American city in the, in the United States. It's the coldest city. Uh, the temperatures range uh, between 12 degrees in the winter, in the dead of winter, and 74 degrees in the summer. So 74 degrees uh, in Hawaii, that's like winter, Six. basically. What up, my G? Hey, what's up? Is that Dave London? Oh, hey, driveway cam. So, uh, today we're going to be learning about the great state of Minnesota. Um, the lecture today, the class, is going to be about an hour and a half. Um, I do have another appointment. I have another uh, private student to teach this afternoon. Digit online as well. Um, however, um, we're going to have a great lesson about Minnesota because uh, there's a lot to learn. And even though it's not my favorite state, um, every state has something to offer. You know, if I had to rank some of the worst states, I guess Minnesota would be in the bottom. Just because I didn't have a really nice experience there. Um, I was stuck in an airport there for about 12 hours, and it seemed like everybody was rude. And every time I stepped outside, it was just bitter cold. And I didn't like it at all. Like I said, I did meet those that wrestling announcer and some other wrestler. I'm not really sure of his name. I uh, don't remember, but I remember Jim Ross was there. Yeah, we, we ate at an A&W burger place in the Minneapolis airport. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my own personal. Um, but uh, Minnesota is a decent state. The most famous person from Minnesota is my favorite, one of my favorite musicians, which is Three Bob elements. Dylan. Said, uh, we'll get into the him a little bit later. Champ, check it out. Uh, but, but Bob Dylan, slash, slash, uh, uh, he, he is one of my favorite musicians, and I read an auto, I read a biography, not an autobiography. I read a biography about Bob Dylan. You can send Mr. G. And I remember him talking, I remember the biography talking about his days in Minnesota growing up, uh, listening to Elvis and later on the Beatles, and how he uh, really wanted to be a rock star. You prefer the nice Hawaii weather? Of course, yes. Por supuesto. I actually probably won't ever leave Hawaii, actually. So, um, uh, Bob Dylan grew up in uh, Duluth, Minnesota. And he, um, uh, yeah, we're, I'm pretty busy today. However, uh, he grew up in Duluth, Minnesota, and he went to uh, the University of Minnesota for one year. The University of Minnesota are the Gophers. Uh, there's a black and white gopher on the uh, screen here. Minnesota football, I was actually following them 
um, last year. I stopped watching like all sports, but last year during the college football season, last year during this time, I was following the Minnesota Gopher football team because they were on an incredible run. They won like the first 10 or 11 games of the season despite not having the best players. And they did this because of a, a very inspirational head coach whose name uh, slips my mind at the moment. But there was a huge reality show series based on him. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's this thing is like Ride the Boat or something like that. Let's, let's go and ask Google the name. Hey, Google, what's the name of the head football coach of the University of Minnesota? P.J. Fleck is head coach of the okay. University of Minnesota. P.J. Fleck, the head coach of the University of Minnesota. And he's like a native Minnesota and he has like all this pride and stuff. Also, another thing about Minnesota college football is there was a show in the early 90s called Coach. Uh, and it was about a head, the head coach of the Minnesota Gophers football team. And so I guess Minnesota gave the television program the rights to the show. And it was a very successful program. It starred Hayden Fox. And it was on for almost 10 seasons. Uh, watching it growing up, I didn't like football or anything, but me and uh, my brother, we like a lot of kids at that time, uh, we just watched sitcoms, you know, we're, you know, 10, 11 years old. So, uh, the University of Minnesota is uh, the top school in the, in the school. Uh, like I said, Bob Dylan went to school there once. Like one puppy. Uh, Minneapolis so, is the coldest capital. I always thought that I mean, people in warmer countries like me. colder weather. Yeah, usually if they're from here. Like if, but I, but I'm also from South Texas, so you know I'm from a warmer climate. Um, however, um, you know, speaking of the cold weather, uh, you know, it's 12 to 74 degrees in Minnesota. Those are the extremes. But the amount of snow they get is uh, 36 inches to 76 inches. You know, on average, like the lowest part of the state, 36 inches of snow per year. The highest mine. part of the state. 76 Seven. inches of snow per year. Hey, Mr. G. Hey. However, hey, Bella, aloha. Uh, uh, good to see you. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, Bella. Um, I cleaned out the, uh, the water fountain recently. I haven't checked my P.O. box recently, Bella, uh, but um, you know, I just haven't uh, been in that area. Um, but I hope, not that I'm like necessarily expecting, but I, we don't check it for a few weeks, People, it does suck up. But anyways, it's good to see you, Bella. I hope you're doing well. Uh, me and the kitties are doing well. Uh, Moses is actually on bed rest. Um, I could send you a message about that, but she's doing recovering well. And uh, Peach is a, a good mix. And then Lucky is the sweetest, so. Um, but back to the lesson on Minnesota. <laughs> Uh, I just had to stop and say hello. So, uh, Minnesota, they receive 36 inches to 76 inches of snow per year. And that sounds like a lot. And when you break it down, it is, you know, like during the winter months, let's say you get two inches a day. Well, that's like, you know, 35 days of two inches. And that's a lot of snow, two inches, right? Or an inch a day is a lot of snow, right? So 76 days of an inch of snow, that's a lot. However, that's only 20% of the precipitation of the state of Minnesota. So that's only 20% of their precipitation. That means they also get a lot of rain and a lot of other uh, types of weather. Um, Help Mr. G Minnesota is lo known as the, the state of 10,000 lakes. And they actually have uh, at least 11,000 relatively large lakes. Ella underscore smiles said, please, I hope she's okay. Uh, she is. I'm, I'm taking good care of her. Um, she's on bed rest. Um, she's, if you want to know, uh, she's got some injuries to uh, her uh, paws. Her, her beans are injured, and so it's hard for her to walk. Uh, but she's in good uh, health otherwise. She's purring. She's eating. She's drinking. She has a, the whole room to, the whole bathroom is closed off just for her. Uh, you know, I put a bunch of nice towels on the ground for her because she sometimes has to walk, you know, if she goes to the litter box. But she doesn't want to go to the litter box because her paws are hurt. But, but um, uh, like I said, uh, 
But she's getting uh, medicine, and I made an appointment and everything. And, uh, things are going good with that. She'll definitely be healed up really soon. Okay, so continuing with the lesson. Uh, the capital of Minnesota is St. Paul, Minnesota. There's about 300,000 people. Uh, it's right next to Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's why they're called the Twin Cities, because they're separated by just about five or six miles. Uh, some of the top industries in Minnesota, um, agriculture, like the, a lot of the Midwest, uh, manufacturing, mining, and uh, fishing. There's a, there's a lot of ice fishing in Minnesota because it's really cold and they have a lot of lakes. The nickname is the Land of 10,000 Lakes. Also, it's known as the Beaver State. Um, it, like I said, it has more than 10,000 lakes, but 10,000 just sounds better. Um, the entire population of Minnesota is uh, 5.6 million. Uh, so they have actually a total of 10 electoral votes. And they're known as a uh, swing state. Um, I believe they went with Biden by 52% um, in the recent election. I don't know, you know, you know, you don't know. Uh, what's some more things about Minnesota here? Here, I got distracted now. <laughs> Golly. I'm sorry. <sighs> Alright, let's continue. That one poppy said, Yeah, I wait to go, Minnesota. Yeah, way to go, Minnesota. I'm sorry. Um, like I said, uh, I, like I was telling Bella there, um, I just have a couple things on my mind here uh, dealing with a, a sick kitty and everything like that. So I'll be honest, you know. Okay, so uh, the Minnesota state flower Hi. is very interesting. Sir, it's the lady slippers. You can send Mr. G, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170 Nuwanu Avenue, Po Box 37305. Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. IRL underscore nostalgia. Seth. Hey. Keep it up, bro. Thank you. IRL underscore nostalgia. Seth. Enjoy my prime sub. Oh, awesome. Thanks, bro. I'll, I'll refollow you on Twitter. No worries, so. MRG. Thanks for that. DJ underscore spin underscore G. Seth. What kind of food is in Minnesota? Uh, we'll get that uh, right after we're done with the state uh, bird and the state flower. Uh, one good interesting thing about food that I saw about Minnesota is the uh, Juicy Lucy, uh, which you may have heard from uh, that TV show Roseanne. They would talk about that. And that's actually a hamburger with the cheese inside of the burger, uh, which is apparently a common uh, Minnesota food. They also into fried food a lot, uh, just like you know Iowa yesterday and other states. You know, America is the, one of the most obese countries. Um, that's because we have a very wealthy economy and uh, a very poor diet. Um, okay, so continuing, this is the uh, state flower of Minnesota, which is the uh, lady slippers. And I thought this was a very uh, cool looking flower um, because, you know, it's called lady slippers and, you know, it looks like lady slippers. Give me one poppy. Doesn't that Set. look like lady slippers? K E K W. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put my uh, website back down on there. All right, the state bird of Minnesota. It's something like the uh, the common moon is what it's called. The common moon, and you can see that in the corner. It looks kind of like a duck. Um, hey Google, Stream volume elements. eight. Set. Hey Google, is the common moon a duck? On the website wildernessnorth.com, they say, moons are water birds like ducks, geese, and grebes, but they are classified separately by scientists. Hey Google, volume 2, please. So yeah, that's the state bird. I'll give you guys a, a better uh, view. Wow, beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a uh, a moon, a common moon, but it's not very common. It is very a uh, very beautiful bird. Back one poppy. Um, they actually have a joke. Very beautiful. They actually have a joke in Minnesota that the state bird is actually the mosquito because with a land of ten thousand lakes, you're gonna have a lot of mosquitoes, right? Flash grizzle. Set. 
Only thing I know about Minio stuff is the American football team. Flash Grizzle. Oh yeah. Said. Because I used to play John Madden games. Interesting, Flash Grizzle. So uh, this is um, M Minnesota jokes that their state bird is also the mosquito. Uh, that's because there's lots of standing bodies of water and uh, mosquitoes love that, right? So there are more than 3,000 species of mosquitoes. Only fe female mosquitoes bite humans and animals. Males feed on flower nectar. The average mosquito lifespan is less than two months. Mosquitoes can detect carbon dioxide from 75 feet away. A mosquito can Flash only fly up to 1.5 miles per hour. Why is it only the females who bite? Is that similar to humans? Uh, that's a good one, good one. Good one there, Flash Grizzle. Um, I'm not sure why it's only females that bite, but uh, personally, mosquitoes don't really bother me. Um, here in Hawaii, it was actually endemic of mosquitoes for quite some time uh, until a one of the ships where one of the explorers, uh, one of the um, European explorers must have brought them over here. Uh, so before they came, uh, there were no mosquitoes in Hawaii, which was really nice because there's a lot of them now. Not by the beach or anything. Mosquitoes aren't really by the beach, but any standing body of fresh water. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Minnesota also has the most freshwater lakes of any state in the United States. Also, the second largest waterway in the United States, which is the Mississippi River, uh, it has its roots literally in Minnesota. Uh, that's where the lake, uh, it, I, I Kaske Lake. Um, Mosquitoes love. And then the Minnesota Lake goes all the way down. The, the, I mean, the Mississippi River goes all the way down from Minnesota into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, the longest river in the United States is the Missouri River. So. Okay, continuing. Uh, we'll do some more fun facts here really quickly. So, um, some fun facts about the state of Minnesota. Uh, St. Paul was originally called uh, Pig's Eye. Now, it, it wasn't going to be called. It was called Pig's Eye, despite what this slide says. Uh, for its first, you know, 10, 20 years of existence, the uh, city of St. Paul was known as Pig's Eye. Uh, there's also uh, quite a lot of hog production involved in the state of Minnesota. Uh, the stapler was invented in Spring Valley. You know, Spam was also invented in Minnesota by uh, Jim Hormel. Uh, the University of Minnesota was the first place to host a successful open heart surgery. Minnesota is known for our 10,000 lakes, but they actually have 11,000. <laughs> yeah, the stapler was invented in Minnesota. If that's not something to say to the cute girl in the office, then I don't know what is. Let's do some more fun facts. Like I said, it's, it's really cold in Minnesota. So I saw this guy right here. Uh, he actually makes, his name's Tom Grotling, and he makes, he started doing sculptures, sculptures of frozen jeans to entertain his neighbors. Cause I mean, it remains freezing for a good portion of the year. And um, this it really caught on and so everybody uh, started getting their Levi's and you know freezing them Set. and putting them outside. The is here. Pop champ, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash. All right, next up. Um, there's a town in Minnesota where a mayor is pulled from a random hat, and uh, one time it was a four-year-old named Bobby Tuts. Flash grizzle. Set. Uh, you can actually drive a tank in Minnesota, but only if it's on your birthday, if I'm not mistaken, or to a wedding. Flash grizzle. Set. Mainly B12. So, uh, Ella underscore smiles. Set. LOL, that's fun. So uh, just some basic facts before uh, we get into the um, 
the uh, famous people from Minnesota, which is the next next segment. Hey Google, volume up a little bit. So Minnesota, the state tree is the red pine. The state sport is ice hockey. The state grain is wild rice. Uh, one of the foods they really enjoy is uh, wild rice. Um, also, the capital, like I said, is St. Paul, population about uh, 400,000. Uh, Minneapolis is also about 400,000, and they're separated by only a few miles. Uh, so they're basically, you know, the same city, the Twin Cities. Uh, you know, uh, that's why they're called the Twin Cities. I think it's a, they're 11.9 miles distance. Um, also, Minnesota, one of their borders is the largest Great Lake, Lake Superior. Uh, another nickname is the, uh, the, the North Star. The Star of the North is also their motto. Uh, a popular person from there, Mary, Ty Mary Tyler Moore. Um, Flash oh. Grizzle said, What sort of packages can we send? Uh, anything legal. So just um, some overall basics about Minnesota. Uh, you know, she's achieved, achieved statehood in 1853. It was the 32nd state. Um, it borders uh, Iowa, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wisconsin, and also two Canadian provinces, Manitoba and Ontario. That's pretty interesting. Okay, um, the bird is the common loon. Um, I think, believe, uh, I'll admit, I was saying common moon, <laughs> okay? I didn't quite look that up, if you didn't know this. But I always thought it was the moon, <laughs> but apparently that bird is called a loon. Uh, Minnesota is home to the Mall of America. I'll show you guys some pictures of that. It's the largest mall in the United States. Uh, water skiing was invented in Minnesota due to their lakes. Uh, and Minnesota has over 90,000 miles of shoreline uh, due to all of its many lakes as well. Okay. Once again, that's the common loon with an L. And that is a really nice looking Seven. bird. It's a pretty bird. Biggest mall in the US. Uh, yes. The biggest mall in the United States. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Here is a picture of the Mall of Americas. which is in a suburb of Minneapolis, St. Paul. And uh, the abbreviation is MOA. Uh, the Mall of America, it's a shopping mall located in Bloomington. It's a suburb of the Twin Cities. Uh, the mall is um, you know, managed by a group. 80% um, of the visitors to the mall are from uh, Minnesota or Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Illinois, Ohio, and Canada. So their market is really to the uh, small town type area. And uh, they get a lot of visitors. I was looking at pictures and it seems like, you know, a lot of people go in there. It's like their big town experience. They're like, we're doing the big town, big city. We're big city people. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, malls are uh, pretty much dying, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, uh, a lot of people don't even go to malls. I was looking for this it's under my armpit. So a lot of people, said, you know, they how don't. How many people visit roughly? Um, let's see. Hey Google, volume eight. Hey Google, how many people visit the Mall of America every year? Here's what I understood from the website BloomingtonMN.org. The Mall of America boasts 40 million visitors annually. Do you want a little more context? Yes, please. So 40 million visitors. Sorry, I don't understand. I said yes, Google. Never mind. Hey, Google. Volume 2. HTTPS colon slash slash s 3 millimenscom slash MRG underscore live slash tip. So, uh, Minnesota. Said 40 million. Yes, that's right. Uh, 40 million visitors. So, a lot of visitors to that mall. Um, like, I, like it said, um, their main, uh, you know, grab is from all the people in like the Midwest areas, those other states that we mentioned. Iowa, Wisconsin, Seven. Montana. That's four times the population. I know, right? <laughs> that's right. It is, right? 
Dang, that is right. Wow. So, like, it's but it said it, it was specific. Like, yes, the majority of the uh, visitors are from other states. So it's a big uh, tourist attraction for Seth, the state of Minnesota. You can send Mr. G. Uh, what else are tourist attractions from Minnesota? Uh, Minnesota um, has a really popular science museum. I'll show you some pictures of that. And uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota also has uh, the Walker Art Museum, uh, which is a really uh, top um, uh, world-recognized uh, art gallery, a huge art gallery in Minneapolis. Uh, Minneapolis, it's the 16th largest city when you com uh, combine the Twin Cities as a whole. The Twin Cities metro area, it's the 15th or 16th largest city. So uh, maybe we've done a couple other large cities um, earlier in the semester here, earlier in, in the, uh, the, the uh, classes here. But um, it is a major American city. We're going to be doing more major cities once we continue going east. Uh, what else is uh, uh, um, Minnesota known for? We'll get to the famous people in a second. Uh, Paul Bunyan. Have you guys heard of Paul Bunyan um, and his blue ox? Um, uh, I talked about the Mississippi River. Uh, it has its roots in Minnesota, Lake Itasca. Itasca? Lake Itasca. I-T-A-S-C-A, I believe is the spelling. Um, and that's a glacier lake. Um, which um, is up north on the Canadian border and um, that water melts and goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, what else? Uh, Minnesota, it has a, actually a wide variety of uh, different uh, landscapes, but it is cold. It's not the most friendliest for farming. It's terrible for farming. It's terrible for gardens. Um, like I said, it's the coldest major city, major city in the United States. Temperatures range 12 degrees and don't get rarely above 70 degrees. Uh, so that's something that I can never, that's the opposite of Hawaii. Hawaii, the temperature rarely drops below 70 degrees. Granted, it doesn't get hotter than 89, it doesn't get hotter than 90 degrees. The weather in Hawaii stays between 70 and 90. Um, another interesting thing about Minnesota is uh, they're a liberal uh, state, generally. Uh, they have very high voting turnout, and they're supposed to have a really high quality of living. Um, they're also number one in the United States for ISIS terrorists. Yes, that's right, ISIS terrorists. Uh, there's a huge Somali population in Minnesota, and then they have a, a, a congresswoman, one of their congress, one of their senators is, uh, no, no, she must be in the house. Um, is the, the woman Oman Omar or whatever she creates a lot of controversy I'm surprised I didn't I get a, a slide of her or anything but apparently she uh, there's rumors that she married her brother um, and stuff like that but they, they do have a high voting turnout but like I said they also have high uh, terrorism <laughs> they have a high Somali population there's videos of Somalis just going violent in Minneapolis you know uh, it's a few times, but I mean, all races go violent and stuff, but recently I've seen some videos on YouTube of uh, some violent encounters with uh, the Somali community in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, but to be fair on both sides, they also known to have one of the most corrupt police forces in the United States, and a lot of that is, uh, they're talking about defunding the police there uh, more than anywhere else, and uh, we saw that this summer... Uh, with all the riots and looting, not just in Minneapolis, but across the United, across the United States, really. All right, so uh, going on, um, like they're number five in the United States with voting turnout, so uh, that says a lot. So uh, trying to get on a lighter note here, um, we talked about the climate. They're on the con they have a continental climate, um, so. There, there's, there aren't very uh, many high points in the, in the uh, state of Minnesota. So uh, let's, let's move on to uh, something a little bit lighter. Uh, let's talk about famous people from the state of Minnesota. So everybody knows Prince is from Minnesota, right? The musician Prince um, was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Who else? Well, 
this guy, the governor, former governor of the state of Minnesota, uh, Jesse Ventura. Like I said, they supposedly have a high voting turnout. I remember working with somebody from Minnesota in, uh, at a political job in Portland, and he was bragging about how you know his state is so liberal and votes all the time. And then I asked him, what about Jesse Ventura? You know, And then he's like, oh, we, we just don't talk about that. Who else is from uh, Minnesota? We talked about Bob Dylan. Uh, Bob Dylan was uh, born and raised in Duluth, Minnesota, and then he went to the University of Minnesota. The University of Minnesota is located in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and it's about 150 miles from where Bob Dylan grew up in Duluth, Minnesota. So to Bob Dylan, when he was a kid and a young man, uh, Min Minneapolis was the big city. And that's where he went first to uh, stake his claim as a famous musician. Who else is from Minnesota? Well, MacGyver is from Minnesota. Everybody's favorite. Back one poppy. Um, Said, guy. Very nice screen. Patrick Dean Where Anderson. Go. Keep it up, MRG. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for the uh, sub too. MacGyver is a native Minnesotan. Who else? Winona Ryder, known for her shoplifting, <laughs> is a uh, native Minnesotan. Who else? Judy Garland. Judy Garland is from Minnesota. Who else? Um, Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson, who is known for dressing up as a woman in recent years, he makes a great uh, woman. Uh, he is from Minnesota. Let me get that out of your way. See, most of these people, they're from Minnesota. They may not currently live in Minnesota because once they achieved a little bit of success, who can blame them for moving, right? All right, just a couple more famous people from Minnesota. Um, this guy, Kevin Sorbo. Looks like a don't do drugs advertisement, right? Kevin Sorbo is from Minnesota. Who else? Um, this woman, I actually forget her name. Uh, shit, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, she's from Minnesota. <laughs> okay. Oh, and of course, last and certainly not least, uh, the most talented person on this list from Minnesota, Charles Schultz, creator of Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, and all of the rest of the penis gang. I mean, <laughs> peanuts gang. Whoa, that was a Freudian slip. I must be thinking about penis. I'm just kidding. I wasn't thinking about penis. Peanuts sounds like penis. Just because something sounds like something doesn't mean it's a Freudian slip. The term Freudian slip is misused more often than the term literal. Is literally The term Freudian slip is literally misused a billion times a day. Alright, so I have a new Instagram there. If uh, you guys would like to follow, it's right there. Those were famous people from Minnesota. What else? Uh, we didn't go over foods. We'll go over foods of Minnesota. Um, I told you about the Lucy Juicy. So let me go ahead and uh, pull up a picture of the Lucy Juicy. This is, uh, or the Juicy Lucy. This is the Juicy Lucy. Um, it's a burger. Um, like I said, I remember it from the Roseanne shows when I first heard about it. I've tried to make this before. Um, it's not uh, it's not that hard really to make. It's just the cheese inside of the burger, but it is it is really good. Nico, are you still in the class? You left early. Ella underscore smiles. Said, I actually have his autograph. My father met him. Oh really? Cool. So this is another common uh, food in Minnesota. These are some sort of like potato rounds things. Um, I forgot what they're actually called. But I do know what this is. 
And like I said, this was invented in Minnesota Spam. Frenzy Lock. Spam, one of Hawaii's most popular foods, was invented by Jim Hormel in Minnesota. Uh, it was used uh, during the troop for the troops during World War II. Uh, it was known as uh, army meat or mystery meat, uh, and it became really popular. And around since that time, it's been a uh, local favorite in Hawaii, uh, where you can get it just about anywhere. Spam is uh, one of the most popular foods in Hawaii. All right. So uh, we talked about Lake Superior. Um, let's go ahead and uh, learn a little bit about Lake Superior. Well, there's enough water in Lake Superior to flood the entire landmass of North and South America to a depth of one foot. It contains over quad three quadrillion gallons of fresh water. One of the largest freshwater lakes in the world. Uh, lake Superior is the largest lake in the United States, and it's also the largest of the Great Lakes as well. So it's the largest lake in the United States and also the largest lake in Canada. It acts as a border between Canada and the United States. All right, and qu a couple more things about Lake Superior. I think it's important. Lake Superior has an island which has a lake, which has an island, which has a pond, which has a boulder. That's how big this uh, lake is. The lake has an island that has its own lake. All right. Ella underscore smiles. Said, do you eat Spam, Mr. G? Um, I hated Spam, Bella, when I first moved here. And I, I, I mocked people that ate it. But after being here almost 10 years, it's grown on me and pre prepared correctly. Um, it is really good if you, uh, I, I like low the sodium AD spam. Said, didn't know you were going live early. Oh, hey Cody, yeah, the class now starts at 12 o'clock Hawaii time. I actually was late about 30 minutes, but um, in this coming year, uh, there's only one more class this year. Here, let me go ahead and... Uh, Cody eighty eight oh four. Hey Cody, aloha. You see Biden call Kamala the president elect today. Oh really? Wow, that's crazy. Uh, no, I've been uh, pretty busy with other stuff, but um, yeah, the uh, the classes are uh, starting earlier now. Rubber duck at one thousand. At twelve o'clock Hawaii time. Is and Lake Superior fake news? Uh, no, Lake Superior is objective information. Um, is what Lake Superior is. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. We're not we're not taking any sort of sides. We're trying not to keep things political. Yes, um, as like I said mentioned yesterday, I, I lean to the right. Uh, but in this educational process, you want to keep things uh, non-biased. If that's what we're talking about. Anyways, continuing with Minnesota, we just about have 10 or 15 more minutes. Um, we're going over the state foods, uh, some other state foods besides Spam and cheeseburgers um, are the honey crisp apple, uh, morel mushrooms, those are the wild mushrooms you see grow a lot in the northwest that are really long and uh, you know everyone always asks, can you eat these? You know? uh, wild rice, uh, blueberry muffins and milk. You notice not a lot of um, vegetables there. Um, so yeah, what else? Um, well, I'll show you some pictures of the uh, Science Museum Three of Minnesota. Elements. The Science Museum so, of Minnesota, it's known for its uh, dinosaur collection. HTTPS it has some of the most slash fossils slash of any um, museum in the United LG States. Um, second only to uh, the, uh, the Museum in New York City, the National so, Museum uh, of History. Said I got the vaccine yesterday to instill confidence. President-elect Harris got the vaccine today. Fucking A, man. She's the worst president ever. I hope she does. she's not president. She's so phony. But... Said, is Minnesota a red state? Uh, it's a swing state. Recently, it, the 10 electoral votes that it had went for uh, Joe Biden 
uh, by only 52%, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken anyways. Hey, Google. Uh, who Seven. won Minnesota, Joe Biden or Seven. Donald Trump? Fuji, Moses, and Keanu packages to 1170. New Wanu Avenue, Hey, Google. Volume 9. Honolulu, hey, Google. Who won Minnesota, Donald Trump or Joe Biden? Hey, 2020 U.S. presidential election Trump results for president. Minnesota. According Seven. to the Associated Press, Trump. Joe Biden won with 10 electoral votes and 52.6% of the vote. We well, got yeah. hey Google, Volume Two. So, according to the Associated Press, why does it zoom into my crotch? All right, uh, uh, um, um, <laughs> the the AI is like, mm. anyways. Uh, according to the Associated Press, um, Biden barely won Minnesota by fifty-two percent. That just goes to show uh, how important voting is um, in the United States. Um, that's why I brought up that Minnesota has uh, one of the highest voting turnouts in the United States. Hawaii has the lowest voting turnout in the United States. Hey, Google, stop the steal. Minnesota also is one of the most educated states in the United States, if they're if not the most educated. I believe they actually might be the most educated state in the United States. Let's ask Google. Hey, Google. Xenon underscore time. Volume 9. Set. Hey Google, what's the most educated state in the United States? Massachusetts. Here's a summary from the website usnews.com. Massachusetts ranks as the state with the highest educational attainment. Hey Google, what are the most educational states in the United States? I found 10 on the website asimag.com. The most I, educated states in the USA. Seven. Here are the first five. Uh, Mr. G with One, Massachusetts, 81.84. Two, Maryland, 76.80. Three, Colorado, 71.24. Four, Vermont, 70.61. And five, Connecticut, 70.47. Okay. Want to hear more? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Maybe it's in the top ten. Okay. Here's three more. 6 Virginia 68.53, 7 Washington 66.95, and 8 New Hampshire 66.56. By the way, if you want to see the whole list, you can check out the link I just sent to your phone. Volume 2. Okay, well I know it's one of the most educated. I guess the person that told me that was from Minnesota, so I shouldn't be biased. He was also the person that I had the conversation about Jesse Ventura about. So I wonder what he's doing now. He was a young politician. But uh, another interesting thing, the Los Angeles Lakers uh, originated in the state of Minnesota. Uh, the Minnesota Twins, I put that up there. Uh, growing up, um, I remember I had a Twins cap. Um, I have a twin brother, Michael, and I have uh, two twin two estranged twin sisters. They're estranged because they're fucking strange and, and bad. So they're, they're not good. But anyways... And my brother's not a saint either. Uh, he's an artist, if you're interested. Bella underscore smiles. Said. New Jersey. Screw Google. Cody 8804. Said. Jesse Ventura taught me jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Jesse Ventura thinks the earth is flat. Xenon underscore time. Said. At Cody 8804, how close is this to rock bottom? Dream Elements said the new merch is here pop champ check it out https colon slash slash merch dot s dream elements dot com slash mrg underscore live Cody 8804 said compared to things done on Atlas stream not close at all Hey, Zeon Time, I noticed you've been watching uh, my streams and shit, um, but you, this is the first time you said anything. Hey, Cody, can you block this person? 
Like, I don't ask for much, but it seems like you're the only moderator. Oh shit, I need to make Bella a moderator. I know, I see how to add her as a friend. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. Mod Bella. Bella's a mod. Awesome. Now I figured it out. Thanks for talking, Z on time, because you kind of creeped me out. So I'm glad that you said something. So now I can uh, ban you. Have a nice life there, bro. I wish you the best of luck, Zeon. Here, I guess I'll lean over here. God damn, man. Hey, Cody. Are you with me or against me? Oh, did you ban him? Thank you. 24 seconds ago. Or no, it says I banned him. <sighs> Anyways. What a creep, right? He's been watching my classroom streams and not saying anything. And then he finally says something and it's, it's rock bottom. Nah, bitch. I think having a name Zeon time and watching my streams, attending class the whole time, and then then have the audacity to talk shit, bro. If you had a stream, do you think I would watch it? Cause I fucking wouldn't. Would I Zeon time? No, I wouldn't. Would I? But you watch my streams, I can tell. This is the first time you said something, though, isn't it, bitch? Thank you. Go have a wonderful life. I wish you the best of luck. I hope you find the job of your dream, the woman of your dream, and the house of your dream, okay? But keep it wherever the fuck you're at and keep it the fuck away from me, okay? All right, I don't know you. Get away from me. This is not for you, okay? This is good. I like this a lot. Yesterday's class went great, motherfucker. Today's not as good as yesterday, but no, it's not rock bottom, bitch. And my stock options aren't fucking rock bottom either, motherfucker. Do you see the stock market today, you stupid punk? Oh, you don't know about that, too. You're too busy watching live streamers talking shit, right? Come on, kid. Get out of your mother's basement. I don't know you. If you're not going to be nice to me, if you're not going to be my friend, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fucking smack you back to last Tuesday. Capiche? Bella, I appreciate you being here. Uh, now that you can moderate, um, so there's a silver lining to every cloud. So in the process of looking to how to ban that creep, I uh, figured out how to moderate you, Bella. So I, I welcome you here. Thank you. Um, once again, I apologize for uh, getting upset there, but it is kind of disturbing. Like that guy was watching my streams, and it is a guy. He was watching my the classrooms over every day. Not saying anything. And then he says, Hey Cody, is this rock bottom? Said, Do you still teach at a school? Hey Cody. Yo, bro, you have you heard of the coronavirus? Have you stupid? Not many schools are open in the United States there, buddy. I don't know where you're at. But I actually teach online uh, like a lot of other people. What year are you in, kid? I'm in my 40s and I'm cooler than you. You still teaching at school? Snow schools are open, kid. It's 2021. No, it's not. In two days it is, buddy. So it's 2021. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, stupid. You know what year it is? You ever heard of fucking Zoom? People do shit online. It's 2021. 20, and that's pronounced 2020. 20, 20, 1. 1000. Said, Do you teach a Hawaiian school online? Do you, um, like, stalk people often?
I'll give you one more chance to not ban you. Actually, since I'm always right about that, I should just go ahead and ban you, probably. Uh, I'll give you one more chance, Rubber Ducky. But this is Twitch, so it is kind of a safer area. Yeah, actually, like I said at the beginning of the class, this class is only going to be about an hour and a half, because I have a paid class coming up here. I know you received the tuna for kitties, but did you receive temptations for Kuru in Po box? Uh, yeah, I, I received the temptations the, in the box, the temptations box. Oh yeah, and the and the uh, I, I got the temptations and the churro. Yes, I got the churros. I made a video of the churro with peach in it, and I sent it to your Discord, I think. But um, but yeah, I got that. I haven't been to my uh, P.O. box for a while, but, um, yeah, I don't mean to get upset. That's probably the same person that just came in here, like, asking personal questions, or the, the, the person that, uh, Sit. not, not you, Bella, I, I don't mean to get mad. I'm not mad at you, but the person that was, uh, talking to me. colon slash slash com slash mrg underscore live slash tip. All right, so this is a famous bridge in uh, Minnesota. Hey, Google, what's the famous bridge in Minnesota? Bridges frequently mentioned on the web include the Stone Arch Bridge, the I-35 West Mississippi River Bridge, the Mendota Bridge, and others. All right, that's the Stone Arch Bridge. I'll give you a, a bigger viewpoint of it. It's an interesting uh, landmark, Minnesota. Actually, um, it's probably a be best idea to uh, wrap things up here. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it with the uh, state song of Minnesota. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, we go I go live classroom every day at noon. Um, I, I guess that Zeon, that was probably Shoshan, right? I think that that's funny, dude. I remember asking Shoshan, I asked him, like he he comes and try to like uh, like make fun of me or try to put me down every day for like over a year for like two years, and it's just like I asked him straight up like why do you come back every day, and then he couldn't answer for a second, then finally his his, his clever response was cause I can, cause you can, cause you can is that the same reason a serial killer kill somebody because they can? Is that the same reason an asshole rapes some woman? Because they can? Unprovoked hate? Unprovoked violence? Unprovoked fucking abuse? Shoshan, you piece of shit? Is that what you're into? Well then get turn around and get the fuck away from me. Because if you're in my face, I'll smack you fucking down. Because I don't need you and, and I don't need any haters or any fucking psychopaths that attack people unprovoked. I would never watch your stream. I would never go into your fucking thing and talk shit. I'm worried about myself. And guess what, guys? That's the key to success. If you want to be successful in life, like I have been, like I am, then you want to worry about yourself. Don't compete with the guy next door. Compete with who you were yesterday. That's what a lot of the people that I live around, they don't uh, seem to notice. But they're the ones, you know... <laughs> Not doing as well as I am. And people can paint an inaccurate picture as much as they want. But hey, Shoshan. Hey, Zeon. Hey, Cody. I, I'm actually doing really well here. I have my own classroom. Uh, the lighting is good. The production quality is top of the line. I have um, artificial intelligence doing zoom-ins and zoom-outs. Uh, this is about as high quality as you're going to get, you little bitch. Who are you? You're fucking hiding behind a fucking screen, bro. I'm Gregory Brandt. You want to copy my book? I'll autograph it. Hey, you little piece of shit incel. You're not half the man that I am. Are you? Said. What did I do? You're friends with that piece of shit. That's what you did, Cody. And he was like, hey, Cody, is this bottom of the barrel or isn't it? Well, guess what, Cody? You're not watching his stream, are ya? And Shoshin, you're not doing anything for yourself, are you? You're just sucking on my fucking dick, aren't you? 
Huh? Because overall, I would never watch you, would I? And guess what, Cody? I'm not ever going to forget this. I'm not going to forget your relationship with that guy. Fucking A, man. Anyways, you're lucky you're not banned. All right. Now I'm going to end this because this is my stream. This is my channel. This is my thing. This is my classroom. And I'm not going to mention that piece of shit guy's name. No, I'm not talking about you, Cody. But I'm not going to mention that other piece of shit's name. And Cody, you, you really like got on my bad side today. And one thing that you've known that you should know after watching me is that's not a good thing. Because I don't forget things. I have the best memory of anybody that you've ever met. And I'm not going to forget. Does Minnesota have a Republican governor? Bella underscore smiles. Said. What state is next? Thank you, and Bella. Asterisk CK haters. Uh, tomorrow's state is we're going to go east to Wisconsin, uh, which is known as the cheese state. Like, this isn't easy at all, you know. Like, I do some prep work for this, if you haven't noticed. I, I you know, the, I do have other obligations as well. No, you don't. You live with your mommy and daddy, like me. ODA no, ODA bitch. ODA. I've been living on my own since I was 15. I'm on your bad side because a guy I never talked to tagged me. Okay, maybe I, I that was a little rough, but it seems like you and Co you and that guy that I'm not gonna mention are fucking like friends. Regardless, okay, this is what I'm doing, and I'm gonna keep doing this, regardless of some fucking loser trying to get me to stop doing it. God, pathetic. He's been doing that for two years every day, trying to get me to stop streaming. Somebody I've never met before. Yo. Weird, weirdo alert, you fucking loser. Like, if you don't like me, what are you doing watching me every day, dude? Like, come on, bro. Like, your life is never going to get better if that's what you do with your life. And you got a certain number of days, just like I got a certain number of days. But at least I'm working on myself. And I'm not doing that bad. Like I said, I'm happy with this classroom. We're going to do this Monday through Friday, every day. At 12 o'clock Hawaii time. So if you're on the West Coast, then that's 2 o'clock West Coast time. And if you're on the East Coast, 5 o'clock. If you're in the middle of the country, about 3 or 4. So it's going to be an earlier start time because that's when class happens. Tomorrow we're going to be learning about Wisconsin. If you're interested in learning about Wisconsin and you want to be nice and your goal isn't to try to ban people or... or, 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 or or make fun of me, or, or, or get me to stop streaming. Weird as fuck, dude. You want to get me to stop jacking off too, Shoshin? Huh? You fucking weirdo? Like, I'm going to keep streaming if I fucking want to. I'm going to keep teaching if I want to. I have every fucking right in the world, you fucking loser. Like, goddamn. All right, so uh, tomorrow I'm going to make sure to come prepared more. I'm going to do some meditation before class. And uh, I'm not even going to mention that person. If he comes back here, I'm going to ban them right away. Um, it'd be nice to have some good moderators today. It sucked that Mr. Mrs. J wasn't here today because she would have been able to take care of that a lot quicker. Um, you know, having to stop the class and stuff, it's just so annoying. Upper duck at 1,000. You know, I did notice in the year 2020... Many people have noticed, many people have, like, noticed, like, the stupid, like, loser haters, they've noticed, like, oh, there's a world and shit happens that's bigger than me, oh, it's not all a fucking stupid YouTube thing, like, like, reality, like, kind of hit them a little bit, you know, where they're like, oh, it's not about harassing somebody on YouTube, you know, like, fucking A, let's see, what dream elements. Said, the new merch is here, Pa Champ. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot s dream elements dot com slash mrg underscore live. Okay, so like I said, uh, you know, uh, this isn't easy. I'm providing a service. This is what I charge twenty five fifty dollars an hour. So guess what, Shoshin, you little fucking hater, you found a gym, you stupid bitch. Your mom's a fucking horror. All right. Maybe that was too far. Fuck him. Anyways. 
uh, this is a free service. And uh, if you want to be successful in life, which I have been and just about anything I put my mind to, uh, you want to provide a service. And guess what? This is a very high quality service too. Like Every class you're going to learn something Monday through Help Friday. With the donation so I'll talk to you guys later. HTTP I know it was a weird ending to this class, uh, but this won't happen again. Mr. G will take his medicine tomorrow, all right? His organic herbal uh, cannabis medicine. But uh, other than that, uh, thank you all for coming to class today. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, give this a thumbs up. Uh, if you give this a thumbs down on YouTube, then you got some issues and you should uh, probably see a therapist. Don't watch me if you don't like me, okay? Don't watch me if you don't want to learn. If you're just here to act like a jackass in the back of the class, then turn around and go fucking home, okay? You're not welcome here, all right? The only people welcome here are the students that are willing to learn and that are willing to give me the respect and the credibility that I motherfucking deserve, okay? With that being said, I'm going to play the state song for Minnesota, and we're going to see some pictures of famous Minnesota landmarks, okay? Um, thank you all for being here, and uh, I'll go ahead and get the uh, music going. Everybody have a good night. There's one more class left this year. We're going to have one more class tomorrow. Wisconsin's the last class of 2020. Um, then we're going to be off on Thursday, New Year's Eve day. And Friday is New Year's Day. I hope you guys have a really great weekend if I don't see you in class tomorrow. Uh, have a good weekend. And have a good New Year. Also, everybody be safe. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll do some streaming, IRL streaming, but there won't be any class until... Monday. There'll be class tomorrow, Wisconsin, and then we won't have class again for um, four days, four day weekend. So, all right, guys, um, everybody uh, have a good night, and I hope you enjoy the uh, wonderful pictures of Minnesota here.